Okay, uh, these are my pickups today. I'm going to kind of try and do this quick. Uh, everything here you see is in, was from this bag. Uh, 50 bucks, a lady won't budge. Um, it turned out to be a better deal if I took uh, the whole bag, even though I didn't really want everything in the bag. Uh, but at $3 each, uh, there were 37 items, so it turned out, like I said, to be a better deal to just grab everything. Um, because I think there were like 37 green games. But anyway, uh, for my 50 bucks, I got that splinter cell manual. I got uh, some computer games, which I'm not really happy to take, but whatever. Missile Command, Galaga, Pinball, uh, Creep Knight. All right. Uh, I got some PS2 games. Uh, Call of Duty 3, uh, Medal of Honor, European Assault, Siphon Filter. All right. Uh, Rocky. Stuntman, Ghost Recon, uh, Dead to Rights, Hitman 2, Shell Shock Numb, Splinter Cell, Evil Dead, A Fistful, A Broomstick. That might be a game that has a little bit more value. Not really sure. You know, it's probably like an eight or ten dollar game. <sighs> Sims, uh, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, uh, Angel of Darkness, Blood Rain. Max Payne 2, Resident Evil, Dead Aim, maybe maybe that's like an 8 or $10 game. Sopranos Road to Respect, a friend of mine would probably want that game. Grand Theft Auto, probably a $5 game. <sighs> Splinter Cell, Double Agent, um, Puzzle Challenge, Crosswords, Suffering, The Ties That Bind, and Grand Theft Auto. San Andreas. Uh, these are the PS1 games that came with Final Fantasy 1, uh, Online Startup Discs, Version 3.0, Medal of Honor, uh, Tomb Raider, Star Wars Battlefront 2, that might be an 8 or $10 game. Uh, the Mummy, Breakout, uh, I can't remember if that game has more value. I doubt it does. Croc, I think that's like an 8 or $10 game. If I have like the, uh, I might have a, a cover, I don't know, classic games and television, probably a common. Motocross Mania, Resident Evil Survivor, probably a $10 game. Missile Command, PlayStation, and Die Hard Trilogy 2. All right, uh, let's see. That's the games that I got, except, did I look at, oh, actually, you know what? I got a box full of Wii games, too, and they turned out to be $2 a piece, so I just wound up taking them all, even though some of the games most people would have left, like nobody collecting all the games that I took, but I do a lot of flea markets, so, I mean, I figured around out, uh, I'm st as you can see, these were the best games, that so for $2 a piece, I paid $24, more, make my money plus on these two games alone, Mario Kart Wii, I'll be a $20 game. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Uh, Donkey Kong Returns. Maybe a $15 game. Don't show. Then these are the games which are less valuable. Star Wars The Complete Saga. Lego Batman. Call of Duty Black Ops. Star Wars The Clone War. I Spy. Uh, Babysitting Mama. Who cares? Nerf, which is a game that's kind of unsellable. But like I said, what am I going to like take all the games and leave them with one? What's the difference? I'll, I'll probably sell it eventually. Any and Jones, The Original Venture. And an Epic Mickey. Uh, so that covers uh, the games that I got today, and actually I'm surprised I made as many pickups as I did, because, uh, you know, I only went to like four sales. Um, for five dollars I got this, this is an iPod radio, pretty cool. Um, let's see, for one dollar I got this baseball bat, uh, this is a Pete Rose Arad Adirondack Pro Ring, I think it's an adult one, it's probably worth like eight or ten dollars, I don't know if I'll even get that much for it. Um, for two dollars, I got these two um, plates, and then I got some mirrors. Uh, I got a Jethro Tull mirror. I got a uh, I got a Steve Miller band mirror. At a sticks, I got a Foreigner, and then I got another sticks. But this isn't really a mirror. This is more like a framed kind of art poster. Uh, for two dollars. Yeah, I went to one sale. I had stuff really cheap. For two dollars, I got all these weights. I can probably sell these at least a dollar piece. This is probably like eight to ten dollars for the weights there. If somebody negotiates, got a neat geode, a dollar. Don't know what that is. For one dollar, got this whole bag of geodes and rocks. This looks like some kind of arrowhead. Not really sure, but as you can see, there's some nice and pretty stones in there. Uh, if I sell them for a buck or two, you know, I put them in a the bowl. How much are the stones? A dollar, two dollars. I don't know. There's at least fifty or so in there. So that's actually like a big fifty times my money, maybe. Um, Russian stacking nesting dolls, uh, $3. I don't know, probably get like 8 or 10 This is cool. I never get tins like this, but this was in good shape, and it was only a dollar. So Johnson's Baby Powder, I don't know what it's worth. Uh, probably get online. 
got this Lennox vase. They were like, hey, uh, how much can you, what can you do on it? Because uh, I had 10. I'm probably going to sell it for like 15 or so. They said, uh, how about five? I said, okay, I'll take it. Just so you know, if it has this weave, uh, you may want to make sure it comes with the liner. So, you know, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to hold stuff. Um, that's some clothes. Uh, this is a gun cleaning kit, three dollars uh, from five. I was like, okay, I actually bought it probably to give it a friend. Uh, a set of uh, sear socket wrenches, two bucks, can't go wrong. And then normally I don't get uh, tools and stuff like that so much, but this is Snap On. Everybody says whenever you see Snap On, buy it. It was three dollars. I got the two for five. This is a Sears Craftsman, so I went for it. Um, they're big wrenches. I guess they've got to be worth at least two or three a piece. Oh, and uh, one place I went to, I it came in this milk crate. Everything uh, for a dollar. I got the milk crate. So yeah, that covers it. That's what I got today.